What in all in heaven can have prompted her to go? After such a triumph at the ball. What could have depressed her? What could have possessed her? I can't understand the wretch at all. Higgins, I have an old school chum at the home office. Perhaps he can help. Think I'll give him a ring. Whitehall 7244, please. But women are irrational. That's all there is to that. Their heads are full of cotton, hay, and rags. They're nothing but exasperating, irritating, vacillating, calculating, agitating, maddening, and infuriating hags. Oh, I want to speak to Mr. Brewster Budgin, please. Bru yes, I'll wait. Pickering, why can't a woman be more like a man? I beg your pardon? Yes, why can't a woman be more like a man? Men are so honest, so thoroughly square, eternally noble, historically fair, who, when you win, will always give your back a pat. But why can't a woman be like that? Why does everyone do what the others do? Can't a woman learn to use a head? Why do they do everything their mothers do? Why don't they grow up? Well, like their father instead. Why can't a woman take after a man? Men are so pleasant, so easy to please. Whenever you're with them, you're always at ease. Would you be slighted if I didn't speak for hours? Of course not. Would you be livid if I had a drink or two? Nonsense. Would you be wounded if I never sent you flowers? Never. Well, why can't a woman be like you? One man in a million may shout a bit. Now and then, there's one with slight defects. One, perhaps, whose truthfulness you doubt a bit, but by and large, we are a marvelous sex. Why can't a woman take after a man? Because men are so friendly, good-natured, and kind. A better companion you never will find. If I were hours late for dinner, would you bellow? Of course if not. If I forgot your silly birthday, would you fuss? Nonsense. Would you complain if I took out another fellow? Never. Well, why can't a woman be like us? Oh, hello. Mr. Brewster Budge in there? Boozy. Ha, 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 Boozy. You'll never, never guess who this is. <laughs> You're quite right. Yes, it is. Good heavens. By George, what a memory. <laughs> How are you, Boozy? Mm, nice to hear your voice. What? Oh, don't say that. Is it really 30 years, good heavens? You're quite right, yes, oceans of water. Listen, listen, Boozy, I'll tell you why I rang up. Something rather unpleasant's happened this end. Could I come and see you? Hmm. Well, I could, yes, now, straight away. Right, oh, good. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye, Boozy. Thank you very much. Oh, Mrs. Pierce, I'm going along to the home office. Oh, I do hope you find her, Colonel Pickering. Mr. Higgins will miss her. Mr. Higgins will miss her, eh? Blast, Mr. Higgins. I'll miss her. Pickering? Pickering? Oh, Mrs. Pierce? Yes, sir? Where's the Colonel? He's gone to the home office, sir. Oh, there you are. I'm disturbed and he runs for help. Now, there's a good fellow. Mrs. Pierce, you're a woman. Why can't a woman be more like a man? Men are so decent, such regular chaps, ready to help you through any mishaps, ready to buck you up whenever you are glum. Why can't a woman be a chum? Why is thinking something women never do? But why is logic never even tried? Straightening up their hair is all they ever do. Why don't they straighten up the mess that's inside? Why can't a woman behave like a man? If I was a woman who'd been to a ball, been hailed as a princess by one and by all, would I start weeping like a bathtub overflowing? Or carry on as if my home were in a tree? Would I run off and never tell me where I'm going? Why can't a woman be like me? 